Hi everyone for SV House TV. We've got Prachi here from SmartyPan. Uh, we just met at Founder Space where we are at the moment at SVE Pitching Night. And uh, we really like the idea of your startup. And so please tell us a bit more where you're from and which stage your startup is at. Sure, so um, SmartyPan's, mm, we just started actually one year ago in July of last year. And um, I was based in New York. I, I worked as a nutritionist before I started working on Smarty Pants full time. And my brother, who's the CTO of the company, was here um, in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. He's a software engineer. Um, yeah, well, I came up with this idea and was basically trying to just solve my own pain points, you know, working with my clients on a daily basis. And, yeah, that's about it. That's how we started and we went to an accelerator in upstate New York and after graduating from there, we moved back here to Sunnyvale. So what, what would you say is your industry and also your marketplace? Um, well, I would say down the line we would love everyone, you know, everyone to use Smarty Pants as just a regular kitchen appliance, you know. Um, but our early adopters, I would say, someone who is very conscious of, of their health and nutrition. Like, it's called like the quantified self movement. Are you aware of that? I've heard of it. Yeah. yeah. So it's <laughs> like, you know, people who track um, everything, what they do on a daily basis, just to understand their, you know, to achieve their fitness goals. Like, okay, I so wear Fitbit, you know, like, you know. So I wear Fitbit actually just to understand my sleep pattern, not to like count the calories I burn or anything. But well, I like to know how much sleep I got in a day and how it affects my eating pattern, stuff like that. You know. So these are the kind of people we are targeting to get into the market. If you should give us like half a minute Hollywood pitch, how would you start? Can you give us uh, just a short pitch of the whole company? Sure. So, well, as a nutritionist, um, everything I, um, as a nutritionist, my goal is to just get everyone to consume home cooked meals, and that's what I prefer. And that's the best way to get aware of yourself, how you eat and what you eat. But there is no standardized way, there is no specific way to um, track your nutrition information of the food that you cook at home. And that's what we are doing. You cook with freedom and track your nutrition with ease. Uh, so your role in the company, you're a nutritionist yes, and I'm also nutritionist. CEO of the company. Yes. Or could you introduce other members of the company? Sure. So right now, it's um, the core team. It's just me and my brother. Um, I'm a nutritionist and CEO. My brother, he is a CMU grad, a software engineer and he's the CTO. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we also have a strategic investment from other, like we have some partners in helping us with the manufacturing of the prototypes and stuff. So you came to Silicon Valley to San Francisco a year ago? Um, two months ago. Two months ago, sorry, you said two yeah. months ago. How long, how long would you like to stay? Is there any like horizon? Is there like a final um, decision? No, well, we, we, I just moved here, so this is where we based Smarty Pants, so, yeah. So you want to stay here and like... Uh, Grow the company here, yeah. <laughs> rule the world from here. Yes. <laughs> uh, what would you say are the disappointments of the, of, of, of the Bay Area, of the entrepreneur space here? Um, if there are any. I don't see any disappointment. Okay. I actually, there is a lot of competition and uh, it's hard to get the proper attention because from your end user, a potential end user or a potential investor, but then that's the beauty of it, you know. They're bombarded from, with all these new startups, new ideas, which are equally good, you know. But that's the beauty of it, like that's, the, that's that what makes it challenging, you know. And um, I like the challenge, and it's um, full. I like the passion in you know the young startups like me. Like they want to make some change, and they are working towards it like twenty four seven. So yeah, I don't see any drawbacks. And what what would you do differently uh, if you 
got your experience like uh, three months prior to coming here. Is there anything like you would decide about a different way? Would you change some of your decisions? Not really. Okay. No, because I, I came up with this idea and I jumped on it. It was like I, I quit my job, I started working on it, and I made it happen, you know, and I would not change that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so like your your brother has been living here, has been living here mm -hmm. before, yeah. and uh, like are you thinking of like moving here some other potential crew members or are you more thinking of finding them right here? Uh, we would like to find people right here. If not, we are open to idea of like getting people from elsewhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, can you share with us what was one of the key learnings that you had last month? Mm -hmm. We're all about you know learning, and we're all lifelong learners, and we like to share our learnings. Mm -hmm. Could you give us yours? If there's anything coming to your mind? Um, sure. It's. Um, you know, understanding your market and then marketing your product, positioning your product the way your end user would like to see it and the way they would like to actually use it. It's where you really need to be flexible about. Because as, um, you know, entrepreneurs, we actually just get very a very rigid idea about it. Like, okay, this is the problem I'm solving and this is how I want to solve it but um, the end user may, may not like it, you know. You have to position your product in a way that they are comfortable using it. So we pivoted our, you know, um, um, the, um, our value prop and we changed the way we were positioning our product just because we understood the, the way people are looking at it is kind of like different, so we changed it. Mm -hmm. And like, um how could you describe it a bit more about like how you validate your positioning? Mm -hmm. How do you do your user testing? How long has it taken? Yeah. Okay. So um, when we first started, we actually um, the way we positioned the product was more like you know um, idiot proof pan. So uh, you connect your the pan with the app and it will tell you step by step when to go on to the next step, when to lower the temperature so that you don't burn the food and all that. And then we realize it's like, you know, giving that, um, you know, giving that step by step instruction, you are actually confining um, the end user with cooking. And cooking is more like looked at people by as an art. They don't, they want their freedom. They want to do like their own thing. They don't want someone to like guide them. Right. So we changed it. We changed the way yeah. we positioned the product, and now it's like we're giving them the freedom to cook. We ha we are we are monitoring your temperature. We are monitoring your your weight of the ingredient you're adding. But you're not going to tell you when to stop. Do what you want to do. Cook the way you want to. We'll document it for you. Are there any, just the last question, are mm -hmm. there any tips and tricks you would share about Silicon Valley already said, you know, work on the positioning of your product, you know, mm -hmm. know your customers. Is there anything else you'd like to add? The best thing I would say is like there are a lot of pitching events, there are a lot of meetup groups and um, go for it. If you keep like, you know, if you want to just keep polishing your stuff and before you go out there, you will miss out on a lot of stuff and um, you see an event, you go for it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>